Well, actually, you, uh, you had seen a lot of the ways that we, things that we needed to solve this. You saw, I think, that we were going to have to use this equation. Um, the thing that was tricky, though, is this is the first time you and I have used this approach together. Um, a lot of the time, you can just do this. The magnitude of delta V equals the field times the distance. Because this is what happens to this equation when the electric field is constant. If the electric field is constant, you can take it out of the integral, and that simplifies to this. But if the electric field is changing, you've actually got to do some calculus. Well, let's finish up by seeing where this fits into the flow chart. So let's take a look at the electric field flow chart. There you go. Uh, yeah, so uh, electric potential and change in electric potential. So here we were talking about how to figure out the delta V, the change in potential. So here's the formula for that. It's the integral of the electric field times dr. Um, and like I said, if you have a constant electric field, that simplifies to just being delta V equals the electric field times r. But if the electric field is not constant, you actually have to do this integral. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.